Hello students, welcome to the classroom. My name is Professor Sketch. Today I will be drawing the character Pinky Malinky from the upcoming Nickelodeon show Pinky Malinky. Redundant much redundant? Yes, but let's just move on. So all you're going to need on this lovely summer day is a yellow pencil, a blue pencil, a pink marker, a slightly less pink marker, a pen, a blue pet, well, a blue marker, an eraser, and of course, a pencil. So let's get all of these out of the way. We've got a lot to draw. So we're going to start out this lovely drawing of a sentient hot dog by drawing what else? A little shape that looks like a hot dog. So yeah, basically, it looks like an elongated pill. And that's pretty much it in terms of his body structure. So next, we are going to draw part of a triangle. Looks like we're going to finish it by drawing that line there. But nope, we're going to come up three times to create the little spike thing on the end of hot dogs that you normally see. Honestly, I don't know what the name is. If someone knows what the name for this part of, of a hot dog is, can someone please tell me in a comment? I, I'd really like to know. Please. So now, we're just going to draw right around here a lump and a second lump, because that's a band-aid on poor Pinky Malinky. Why are we drawing the, the um, band-aid right now? Well, that question is pretty simple for me to answer, because right around here, you're going to draw his eyes. This helps us to plot out the location of his eyes. The eyes will help us to plot out the location of his arms, his body, his mouth, everything else. So yeah, thank you, Band-Aid. Or should I say thank you, Pinky Malinky, for getting injured. Yay. I guess that's going to be a permanent injury, like like Joe from Family Guy. He's always in a wheelchair. I guess he'll always have this Band-Aid. I guess at some point they'll probably make an episode where he'll finally be healed, but then it'll end by him getting another bite on the side of his head. That would be pretty unfortunate, considering that that would be considered a cannibal for eating a, for eating a sentient hot dog boy. So yeah, basically you draw two eggs right here to make his eyes. Let's clean that up a bit. We'll erase the plot lines and the lines for the rest of his hot dog body. So yeah, that part is pretty good. Next, we are just going to come up slightly right here, then come down, and then come up again, and hook right onto the eye. That sounds painful, but believe me, it's not. No, these are actually just his lips that we will be drawing soon. So you draw another curve line pretty parallel to the top one, and then you just draw four little bumps. Then come down with that top line to create a slightly overbitten mouth. And there you go! No, you're not done. Don't leave just yet. We still have a good amount to do. Yeah, I know awe, but just just bear with me, guys. Please bear with me. We're just going to draw one line here for his pants. Is that the... Sorry, I'm just talking to myself. From there, you draw a line above that. And then... 
three lines. One, two, three. It's not perfect, but like I say, nothing's perfect. That's how it should look. And right in the middle here, you draw his belt buckle and then the cover for his fly. And there you go, you've got his shirt, his pants. Now we're almost done with the drawing. We still haven't even gotten to the coloring. Now if you guys are bored and don't want to stick around for the coloring, don't worry, I'm just gonna do the coloring in time-lapse form. So don't get your something in a, well don't get your brain in a twist, I don't know. If you guys want to hear a better version of that joke, just check out I Hate Everything's channel. He does the sort of don't get your small intestine in a knot thing or get your get your brain in a knot. I don't know. What am I even talking about? Basically don't get don't get your your artistic ability in a knot. That's what I should have said. You create little hands. Right there. But you just have to remember, make them look like gloves because, well, he wears gloves. For some reason. I don't know, I guess we're trying to go back to that old Mickey Mouse feel. That's, that's kind of nice. Having a callback to classic cartoons. We're just going to skip the legs for now. And draw his eyes. Yeah, basically just little wide circles, or wide ovals, I should say. I should get my geom geometry right. Shade those in, and then draw smaller hot dogs right there, and right there. Now moving on to his tiny little legs. We're just going to draw one line right there, and one line right there. And then and then for each line, you have a line that's parallel. So now you have his legs. Like that. Come come up to create a little lump. Come across to make his boots, I think. And there you have it. That is how you draw Pinky Malinky. Um, now you might be thinking, oh, that's that's not really clean, like you didn't clean up very well. Oh, believe me. I'm gonna start drawing. Via time lapse. So, embrace yourselves. We're going into a montage. So there we go. That is how you draw Pinky Malinky from, well, Pinky Malinky, I guess. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I just used the few pencils and pens and markers that I showed you, as well as a few others. Like, I actually used a brown for the shading on the hot dog part of Pinky, and I used a few other markers for the shading on his body. But aside from that, nothing out of the ordinary. Um, if you have any questions, comments recommendations or criticisms i would be honored to to hear them just leave it down in a comment and i'll read them and i'll respond if i can so thank you guys so much for watching subscribe leave a comment like share this video if you will and well you guys have been a good class you are dismissed from the classroom bye